Hi folks, and welcome to the continuation of Friendly Mix Tournament. It's been a while since I last played, uh, because I, I, I did not get the first place in my, uh, in, my, uh, in my group, right? So I got the second place. So now I'm playing this sort of loser's bracket, and I, apparently I got the tie for my first match. Uh, not the tie, what's it, what do you call it? The, the buy, right? So, yeah, uh, I have no idea what's going on with this tournament now, but I would keep playing it uh, because I like the boards. So, yeah. Okay, what's going on here? I have 5 2 and. Um, <clears throat> uh, what do I even do here? So there is Tomb as a way to score, and... Uh, uh, oh, hey, I guess I guess you can trash here with the Rats Watchtower, and that makes me uh, be a bit sad about having the 5-2, actually. What else can I do? Uh, oh, hey, actually you can... D right, you can discard Village Greens with Embassies. That's a big deal, right? So I can go with like embassy. Think I like I don't like giving him the silver. Let's let's go with the embassy. Yeah, because especially with the changelings on board, silver is silver is good. I mean, I think he should take the silver because it's just you know. Uh, if he gets the changeling next time he draws it, he he wouldn't have it. Oh, right, we have a lucky coin as well. Mm. So, okay, whatever. Silver is not that important. Yeah, right. <clears throat> well, I'm just uh, not sure whether uh, Slay is better for me than uh, Encampment. I think it should be Slay, and I'll take the... On the other hand, I have this Embassy, right? Colliding this Embassy with the Changeling is kinda... Yeah, let's go with the Changeling. Try and do that, and let's get the Slay. Yeah. That's, that's a good draw for me. I can... Well, I can definitely see taking the silver here because uh, silver will bring me up to uh, six, potentially, and six is a very good price point to hit because you'll overpay for two village greens. So he has uh, five two as well. Gets the changeling here, and I'll take the silver. I think I'll take a single silver. Should be should be good. Mm, yeah. It probably should have been this changing should have been a sewer. One, two. Now, what I can do here, I can. Uh, I'm probably just going to buy uh, Willish Green, and I think I want to play the Lucky Coin and get another changing. And I'm going to top deck. Uh, I'm going to top deck the Embassy actually. So. Let's uh, change link the silver, and now let's buy village green and um, top deck it. And oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, no. I I didn't want to. I didn't want to top deck the village green, but I do want to top deck the. Embassy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that that actually gives me a decent chance of uh, getting up, getting to my uh, village green. So I still might think about getting the Watchtower Rats, and. Mm. Well, with this uh, Embassy Village Green, I think Trashen is not that important. 
but given that tomb is around it's actually quite a lot of points on top of you know just trash and being good so i kind of think that it might be worth it to go for that also if you get just mm, a couple more assets that you don't want it's fine because it's stone masons so you can get rid of them and get like more i don't know uh changelings if nothing else or like encampments there are there is like a lot of a lot of nice stuff to get he just gets a single village green gets another embassy uh yeah i'll get the changeling all right uh, so now what well uh ruins repeat right yeah uh get the village green continue now changing for the embassy and uh top deck it and next turn i'm guaranteed to uh, discard my village green and thus put it in play and play the second embassy so next turn is going to be good for me and i'll be able to overpay for whatever i want basically which might or might not be i think i'll overpay for something like reds village green and definitely it's just it's just very nice to have uh, stone mason in the deck it feels like all right so one two three uh play it now and let's go further um hey would you look at that i have another village green right and i didn't draw it so Is it worth it for me to uh, uh, keep playing? I think it's fine to keep playing. Yeah, yeah. Discard, uh, play it now or the next turn. I can play. I can play the next turn and uh, top deck another embassy. Yeah, I think it's very good. Next turn now uh get another change link now our pay for i think village green rats uh continue continue now continue now change link for embassy and uh top deck it yay that looks good to me so Actually, we are really close to the pile out, right? Look at that, because changelings, you know, basically they're going to be gone by the end of his turn, most likely. Stone masons, you know, have this reputation for killing the piles quite quickly, and uh, both villages and embassies are low, and also we have rats. So, and also we don't need to get any green cards because of the tomb. So yeah, let's see how it goes. If he actually, if he lowers, uh, if he lowers a lot, I might be able to do something on my turn, which will lead to uh, the empty piles. But he's doing good. I I think I have more embassies. Is it even true? I played what? One, two. Well, actually, never mind. We both. Oh, we both have three, right? Right now. And it looks like it. Uh. Anyway, I'm. Yeah. Definitely being a first player helps uh, here, because uh, I, me having the reds and stone mason, is uh, a direct uh, 
it's it's just because I'm yeah I'm my first player. Well, also it looks like he's not drawing the whole lot of money here, so that's uh, that's kind of good for me. At this point, I'm not sure if Watchtower actually matters because uh, yeah, basically with the Reds Watchtower the main uh, uh, function of Watchtower is that you you kind of control the Reds population, but I don't care. Let's let them breed. I I just want to trash this deck and and the game eventually. But probably uh, I'm not quite there this turn. So yeah. But it's fine. If I'll if he doesn't actually if he doesn't get this last changeling, uh, I'll be able to top deck another embassy. And oh, hey, he already pays for encampments. All right. Honestly, I don't, I don't care much about those. Not really. Gets another embassy. Uh, yeah, I'll take the changeling. The silvers are kind of useless, to be honest, because you, you don't have plus bias. Uh, all right, you don't have plus bias, so uh, yeah. I wonder if he already is giving me a pile out here. It might be the case, um, but. Um, uh, probably not quite. Uh, it's another village, though. And what else? If he takes another embassy, well, I don't have like I don't have like a gold or anything that costs more than embassies, so I can't trash stuff into embassies. But I can't trash stuff into village. I can't trash one of my embassies into village greens. And um, then there are rats. But honestly, it's a bit too far fetched. Let's play our rats. Um, I don't want to. Well, hey, actually, I can. Uh, I can put the, this rats in hand, right? Is it better than playing the sleigh? Let's try that. Trash the estate. All right, there we go. I might be able to do something here. So now and this one also now. What if I trash say lucky coin for more stone masons? I'm af okay. So good thing is if I'm not if I'm not able to do to end it this turn, I'm still fine because I'm I'm getting a lot of points while trash and stuff, and I'll still be able to maybe like buy a prize or something. Well, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's get the stone masons. Whatever. One, two, three. And. Um, Mm, right. So, looks like no pile out for me, no points for me, and I don't have the whole lot of points. I might just uh, screw it up. Uh, yeah, it's possible. And at this point, so discard. What's in a discard? Like three cards. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Do anything with the with the rats here? Uh, 
Uh, in fact, um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of not looking all that good. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, this game is is going fast. But I mean, look at those piles. It's it's just those are like changing stone masons and rats. They're all like uh, extremely uh, helpful for you know quick pil piling things out. Uh, should I should I get the embassy? Em Actually, getting the embassy might be fine still. Let's try it this way. So, I'll uh, stone mason the copper. Uh, top deck in the embassy is probably still better than uh, uh, getting the horses, I, th I would think. So, I'll get the dachi here. Continue and stretch this for embassy, which I'm going to top deck. All right, so I, I end up being slightly ahead in points. Well, actually, six points ahead. That, that's quite good. And also, he only has one stone mason, so he can't. He can't really do the whole. I I don't think he can really pile on me here. But let's see. Scroll the log to to the top. So good thing is I, I have this village green in hand, so that makes me uh, feel better about my chances. And also I'm still happy I have the rats because uh, they can score a lot of points. It's funny how uh, we both opened with the sleigh, but never got a single horse. We always used it for, for top decking. Which uh, could have been an, uh, achieved on this board uh, by using the watchtower as well. So he draws the deck. And he still has what like uh, actually I think hmm yeah I have was I have a changing so he only has one changing uh, does he have more embassies you know what he might okay I think he has one more embassy so he might be able to trash the embassy for uh, and he still didn't play. No, never mind. He played his uh, one encampment and uh, only one. Okay, so he still has an encampment. So he can trash the his embassy for um, like st stone mason village green. Like for two rats, actually. But he can't end the game, really. He can pile the rats. Yeah, he can pile the rats here. But he won't be able to buy the embassies then. It still might be quite good to pile the rats because uh, that'll give him a lot a lot of points and I'm not sure if I would be able to outscore it so it might be the way to go for him so he gets horses oh hey and horse hmm right so he has more draw so he might gain uh, some more stone mason section he might he might have a win here going for more uh, he's, he's definitely trying for to go for it So 
So now four stone masons in the pile. If he wants to end it on stone masons. Hmm. He would need to I'm not sure he has it. I'm not sure he has it. He now needs Oh wow. Just just like that. Okay. Didn't he draw anything or what happened? Gets a province. Well province is not scary. I don't I don't care much about Prince. And he plays the changing, so everything that he takes except for the silver is bad for him to take because uh, that will help me a lot. Be it, you know, any of those cards. Probably embassies uh, the the least amount because uh, mm, I don't think I am ending by buying something. Get slay. Yeah, okay, slay also doesn't, doesn't matter. All right, two villages, great. Oh, uh, now and now. Mm, let's just draw further. So, what happens if I, I don't, I can trash the dash. I don't care about it, right? If I, okay, let's just draw. One, two, three. I still have another village, right? Yeah. One, two, three. No. Uh, continue. Trash this. I can trash the changeling for stonemasons now. Yeah, the change link is kind of useless anyway. I think I should be going for it now. I'll discard the duchy. Uh, probably rats is better in hand. I don't need this many stone masons for sure. And uh, okay, let's think actually. Mm, I can stone mason the silver for a couple of stone masons. So if I can pile the rats from this point, that's good. I should be have, having it. I'm not sure though if, if I can, to be honest. Uh, let's put the rats in hand. Oh, hey, slay, slay helps, right? Uh, put in hand. Uh, not enough actions, basically, right? Uh, yeah. I uh, guess I'm gonna... Well... Uh, it's less than ideal. I screwed up uh, kind of quite badly. Do I need, want to trash this dash for, for something? I can trash it for two states, which is... Uh, why would I do that? Mm. Okay, and turn, and hope. I wonder if there was a guaranteed path to me. Maybe it was there, I'm not sure. I won't be too surprised. But yeah, I, simply I, 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 kinda, I didn't have quite enough draw for that. That was my problem. Uh, that was at least the problem with the approach I took. So, you know, well, I, I'm still quite ahead in points. Um, so, if he draws, he might get there. Well, 
like um, he has, you know, has uh, some stone masons, right? Yeah, he has like three of them, I think. So you can, he can definitely end it. And right here, uh, he also had a couple of horses, so out of encampments, but um, he must be really unlucky to not to bottom deck all of his embassies and not see any of them here. Did I trash the duchy? No, I don't. I, I still have the duchy. All right, he was forced to just play the village green. Apparently, apparently he doesn't have any embassies in hand. Yeah, village green. It honestly, village green is one of the coolest uh, menagerie cards, if not the coolest, because. I like it how it on its own it's not it's not like super powerful or anything but it allows some cards that were not considered like to be any good or like especially good it allows them to shine like look at this embassy interaction it's just so great it doesn't look to me like he's drawing yeah okay well, he got unlucky here I mean, I, I might still miss my village, but no, it's right there. Okay. Uh, one. What am I doing? Am I just playing all the reds? Uh, I think I... No, I think not quite. I think I'm playing. Uh, okay, this. Em okay, okay. Uh, let's play this embassy too. Right. I do have more stone masons. <laughs> no, it doesn't win. It doesn't win. I I screwed up. I didn't need. To I shouldn't have been playing the same. Oh, okay, that was that was bad. <laughs> now, now he must have it. I mean, I'm st I get it. I'm still ahead on points, but uh, uh. do I even have stone masons? Any stone masons left? Oh my god! I I really screw this up. What did I trash? I've trashed a bunch of good cards, I think. Like, uh, a stone mason, an embassy, an embassy, a village green, and a village green. Oof, I only have one village green left. Yeah, I, I need, the, turn, the moment where I had two actions and I have like five rats in hand and stone mason and an embassy. I shouldn't have been playing an embassy. I should have been trashing uh, like this embassy for two stone masons. And that was a win, basically. I, I don't know why I didn't do that because it was like almost guaranteed to get there. But whatever. But uh, <laughs> it's quite it's quite fun to have this old good uh, you know uh, uh, rats situation. Uh, I killed the. Oh hey, I still have this dashi. Oh my god, that's fun. Uh, So he, 
if he draws, he wins. He just... Well, maybe he doesn't draw. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe his last undo involved uh, him receiving some information, but whatever. It's uh, you know, I'm I'm sure it was not intentionally, so that happens. So uh, what is uh, what's going on with with his turn now? If he buys a promise that he's going to be at twenty seven, so he basically needs uh, like three more. I'm not sure what, what to say. Um, <clears throat> so, So, is he drawing more? He has eight cards in hand. Eight cards in hand will probably not give him the province by... Uh, eight cards in hand won't, won't give him the win, I think. Also, he does not need to win on this turn. Because, you know, look at this hand. I. Uh, I'm not even sure if I play Embassy or if I play Rats, right? Because I think I need to play Embassy, but uh, it has like only 25% of succeeding because I only have one Village Green left and it's I have 20 cards to see, to draw, right? So my best hope is that he somehow empties the piles <laughs> but doesn't uh, does not really uh, win the game that would be it I would be very thankful okay he goes for he might do just that I mean if he takes this uh, last stone mason I would be extremely thankful but no he gets an estate damn it the plan didn't work all right maybe still uh, he still wants to do it Silver for two estates. The sad part is that, you know, <laughs> that doesn't help me. Mm. None of us has any silvers left in the deck. All right. That's a tie. Well, I think given the given my situation, the tie is good. All right. Uh, yeah, I I definitely screwed up there. I I'm sure I had a win at least. Uh, I mean, look at this deck: Dutchy, two embassies, twenty reds, slay, and a village green. I definitely had a win at least at one point in this game. But whatever. That's a lot of states. So we are now waiting for him to get the new new board. I kind of, I really, I mean, this board was amazing. I really like this one. And uh, I like those uh, friendly mixed boards in general. They're slightly different than your usual Dominion boards. And also, I mean, 
most hated cards are attacks, so it's kind of they are kind of uh, a bit lower on a really really bad experience. <clears throat> so, what's going on? Oh, friendly mixed kingdoms. All right, looks like you get in there. Mm. Okay. Uh, he should be the first player here. Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, he's trying. Okay, he's trying to uh, to figure out the tournament ruling for ties. I, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> if he succeeds in his quest of figuring figuring out, that would be great. So I guess we'll wait for that. All right. Hmm. Look at that. Another uh, village green board. And <laughs> damn it, that's a lot of villages. Uh, lucky coin again. So the only trash in is hideout. Okay. Okay, so apparently we play first to five to uh, five point two wins. So, all right, it's like the basically it's like the first day game never happened or something. I guess it's better for him because it was my my uh, first player game. So how do we open here? Uh, I kind of think I want the fool here because you you don't necessarily want the whole lot of silvers. And uh, what I mean, what else are you getting on your uh, three coins turn? So, yeah, I'll, t I'll open with a full and I'll hide out. I have uh, quite a lot of everything here hunting parties and wild hunts for draw, plenty of villages. Hidden six would be really nice. Animal first, good payload. Yeah, we have like that's that's quite a big engine here. Mm, Both uh, is uh, gonna be uh, your alone, most likely. Well, unless you you draw like two coins on turn three or something like that. I I don't think there is any other opening but uh, hideout. I'm I'm not 100% sure about the fool, but uh, I'm quite sure by, about the hideout. All right, here is the hideout drone, which is good. He gets to the fool first. Uh, a gold one, a card one, and a flame one. Well, that's that's reasonably good, because the uh, the trashing one and the card one is uh, quite good, and the gold one is useless. Unless he he just drew all the estates and wants the gold. I mean, I would take gold for free. Oh, he, he takes the gold, actually. Okay. Well, all right. I'll probably keep the lucky coin because in the long run, the you know, the draw being so good, those sewers are going to be quite, quite nice. Uh, but... 
I strongly consider just trashing this state here, to be honest. And getting another hideout. I mean, usually you want to trash coppers with your hideouts at the start, but... Uh, yeah, it's just... I don't really want to buy anything on 3, it's just so bad in comparison to uh, buying another hideout. So I think it was worth it there. So he gets Moon's Gift. Top decks, he's, uh, I don't know what it was, a gold, I guess. Mm, maybe he, maybe he top deck his fool actually. Gets a village green. I don't like that because uh, uh, you'd rather have more hideouts. So okay, that's that's really nice a set of boons there. So willow wisp is good, and I I got up to uh, uh, what was it face the hideout. And yeah, I think it should be a third hideout for me. I don't know why he took the village green there. And here apparently we get up to six, which is amazing. Because I'm going to take the... Well, given the amount of villages, I probably will get the wild hunt. So, village green... Uh, so yeah, he did top deck his full last turn, which is definitely better than top decking the gold, I think. Earth Gift is good. Uh, all, all of those are kind of good, I guess. He should uh, get another hideout here, definitely. But decided not to. Alright. So, uh, I think the only way to trigger Village Green here is the, with the hunting party. Well, or with this, uh, what you call it, the Wind's Gift, right? Gets Danosin, alright. That's a nice draw for me. Uh, I can get Dan, or I can just get the Wild Hunt. Mm, I, I mean, I can also get Falconer. But I think... Uh, Mm, yeah, I need more draw. I need draw, period. Uh, Dan is kind of tempting. Let's get that scene. There are the wind, there's the wind gift. Uh, he might, uh, actually, he's likely to have his uh, Willish Green in hand now. Yeah. So he triggers that. <laughs> That's quite uh, quite neat for him. Quite cute. So my biggest advantage now is that I'm... Uh, I'm, I have more hideouts, so I have a quite larger trashing potential. I also have three boons incoming. But he gets up to six, which is good. I, I definitely, you know, from um, among those three four cost villages we have here, I like village green the least here because you just really need the hideouts, and you you kind of need the plus buy too. Uh, let's kill the curse. So now what? Um, that's slightly unfortunate because I didn't find my other uh, hideout or other two. No, it's only one in there, but uh, I didn't find the hideout. I didn't find the fool. Uh, let's get the workers village probably. And yeah, Wisp was also there. So I I bottom decked some some of my good stuff, which is uh, not uh, not ideal, but whatever. 
Um, he's lucky kind of to get his border village and wild hunt right away. Because he bought them the last turn and just I've seen them right away. But didn't get up to the whole lot of stuff here. He still only has one hideout. All right, the wisp was a good wisp here. Oh, and I can get another one. Hmm, ain't that nice. So let's discard and gain. Should I discard a sewer? I mean, from the looks of it, I'm, I ain't buying anything that costs five anyway. I think I should discard a sewer. And uh, let's get another worker's village. Trash this copper. All right. Uh, then again, I'll go for the uh, state trashing and uh, we'll just get another worker's village. And I really, really need more draw now. <laughs> Maybe this den of sin should have been wild hunt uh, right away. So um, I'm kind of happy that uh, I'm getting all the wisps. Not only because, uh, well, it, it's, uh, you know, it gives a couple of points for a museum, which is not very important, but still. He's, uh, he's drawing bigger than I am right now. He was able to find his uh, wild hunt again, so that's very good for him. But in the long run, mm, I think I should be good here because of uh, superior trashing. It's just I need, uh, basically I, I would really like to hit five this turn. If, if I'm not sure it's, if it's possible. Do I have another silver in here? Oh yeah, he's getting more draw. Well, mm, that's kind of sad. I, honestly, I might just uh, take the bath points here. Because I, I don't really want to buy silvers. Oh uh, yeah, let's go for the bath points. That's a pity that I was not able to add any draw to the shuffle. That's actually quite bad. But I'm getting thin. Yeah. I only have one estate left, one curse. And I think most of those uh, coppers that are in the trash are mine. So, mm, I'm gonna be drawing quite soon. But my, uh, yeah, my problem is that he, he kind of finds, he finds his stuff. He does not bottom deck his stuff, so. It's uh, it's hard to compete with that, but uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes. He yeah, he almost draws everything here. That's quite bad for me. I need some really good draws to stay in this game. <clears throat> Sets the village green for the next turn. Yeah, I mean, he is way ahead. I mean, being the first player helps him a little bit, and uh, uh, yeah, he he has more draw, and he can f he gets a falconer here. Falconer is fine. Uh, I think, well, in my position, I would definitely prefer more uh, wild hunts. But for him, it might be okay. Uh, trash. Well, let me see. Uh, it's three, six, seven. Yeah, and I'm not getting the gold. I'm just gonna get Border Village Wild Hunt. So if he does not find any of his uh, wild hunts here, I that that would be really nice. But he's likely to find some. 
So all those extra hideouts are gonna be turned into animal fairs. Um, like in a couple of turns, I think, when we get, uh, get thin enough. All right. So, hey, that's the turn I was waiting for. Uh, do I want to discard a silver? I should be, I should be knowing what are the cards, uh, what are the boons that left. Uh, I think I don't want to discard. I mean, it's going to be some. I haven't. I don't think I've seen the mountain gift. Yeah, let's let's not discard. Oh, turn back the sewer, that's not good. My wisps did not proc here. Hmm, let's kill the estate. Do I want to kill the fool or do I want to kill the board village? I guess I'm just killing the fool. Didn't find the wild hunt, sadly, but at least I can uh, buy another pair of those. And he can uh, react with the falconer, that's really good for him. Alright. This, this turn should be quite fine for me. And also, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm almost clean at this point. I wonder if he takes the points on this turn. I, I, I think. Uh, I hope he does, right? I hope he, if he, if that would mean he draws less and he is going to have a worse turn. I hope he takes those points. But if he does not, I might, I might go for them if I have an option. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm drawing with this wild hunt, but if I find my next one, I might take the points if he leaves those. So it looks like it was not uh, a bad idea for me to not discard there because it was the mountain gift and sun's gift and the moon's gift. So those those are like three worst ones, I guess, or something. Well, sun, sun's gift is fine actually. Uh, so yeah, he decides to uh, uh, take the points and. Yeah, look at this order. So he could have been drawing with this wild hunt, you know, having having a better turn. I disagree with with what he done here. Because now he is. It might be like this turn when I take advantage of that. Sadly, I did not find my uh, second, uh, whatever it's 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 called, uh, wild hunt. Hmm. Should I get the hunting point? No, let's get the wild hunts. He he can react again with the falconer. So I would say without you know complaining or anything, uh, he he's having the good draws this game. But I might be able to overcome this. Because this turn I'm kind of. You know, my superior attraction already kind of guarantees me that this turn is going to be good for me. I think I'm bound to draw the deck this turn. And uh, when I draw the deck, I can get some payload quite fast with, uh, in the face of animal fairs. He still has more wild hunts to play. I think he has four. I have three. Is that even true? Uh, probably. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, like imagine this, say, will it, like imagine one of those workers' villages would have been uh, hired out for him. He would have been so far ahead by now. He might still, you know, he might still play his Falcon or gain uh, another hideout. That would actually help him a lot. And also, I'm quite behind in points because he has more uniques. Well, I don't have estates anymore. He has this. I don't have Fool anymore. I don't have Falcon and uh, Village Green. Yeah. Gets the points here, I assume. Yep. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't looking very good for me. Oh, uh, he sets the village green for the next turn. And he has a ton of money. Yeah, I mean... Mm, I'm not sure I could have done this uh, significantly better. I could have played significantly better. It's just, it feels like it was mostly draws on this board. I mean, um, yeah, I guess the animal fur. Yeah, it's not like he's playing bad. Uh, he he's he's playing quite nicely, but uh, I'm I don't see myself having a whole lot of chances on this board to be honest. All right, cards. Uh, I don't care about this uh, single estate, let's just uh, draw. Well, I might get the estate here. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm gonna trash those hideouts, yeah, both of them, and take like what? Um, the end of scene hunting party. He's very likely to just end it on his turn. Oh, is that true? Yeah, because, uh, well, well, maybe not quite. All right, definitely uh, go for those. Uh, it would be greedy for me to not get the Thanos in here. Let's... Do I want the Prions? That just kills me, right? I, I mean... Uh, kinda want more points, but I guess I just need this Thanos in. And, oh my god, he his Falconer, he was able to activate the every single time, right? And he is like, what? One and a six chance this turn, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely going good for him. And he takes the uh, workers' village, which makes sense, which is a bit risky for him to be honest. Well, maybe he knows that his hand is like very good, but if he can't end it, although I guess it's fine because I'm so much behind in points that. And also, I mean, I would love to have this falconer, for example, but uh, I. I didn't have a room for it, right? I always needed more draw. Mm. Yeah, not not a fan of this uh, of the way this game went because uh, yeah. If 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 somebody would tell me that you know I'm being wrong here and I just uh, my build order was suboptimal. I would like to hear this opinion because, uh, you know, right now I don't see it. All right, S stop whining. <laughs> so, uh, how how exactly can he end it here if he can end it here at all? Uh, he has another wild hunt. So, uh, I think he might end it on the states. Yeah, well, now he can't probably. Uh, 
Oh, he can... Oh, never mind. He should be able to do it quite easily. Yeah, he can play Falconer once again. Uh, gain the Worker's Village and then just buy... The, and he, he needs only 13 coins. Yeah, that he should have it in hand. Gains an estate. Oh, yeah, the Nether Wild Hunt. Yeah, okay. He, you know, there are probably uh, several uh, ways for him to do it. All right. Well, well played by him. Uh, so uh, he's now ahead. Uh, we uh, we tied the first one, and then uh, now it's uh, a win for him. So uh, if I understand it correctly, if he wins the next one, then he wins the, the match. So we don't want that to happen. <laughs> uh, let's see what the next kingdom is going to be. I, yeah, I feel I feel like uh, first player advantage was also quite s played a significant role in this one. Apparently, Dombot gave us two kingdoms instead of one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. In the end, he had with a single high rod, he's. He only had uh, two coppers, and I think most of those states were just uh, gained with the uh, wild hunts. So he was able to trash quite nicely in the end. Yeah, maybe maybe there was uh, there was like uh, a moment where I maybe uh, triggered some bad shuffle or something and didn't notice. I don't know. All right, well, what's going on here? So the only draw here is Madman, Experiments, and uh, Flag Bearer. Uh, any fancy stuff with Lurker? Well, Lurker can trash flag bearers from the pile and gain them potentially. So there is something. Uh, God hurt. Actually, God hurt is also draw potentially. Mm. And uh, we want treasure for to trash the coppers. And I think it should uh, kind of involve maybe some kind of uh, bridge mega turn with madmen, something like that. Mm, I definitely open in with hermit here, and it's not clear for me whether I want a second hermit or like a bridge. Kind of want a bridge, I think, because I want to get uh, to the treasurer. There's also Seize the Day. <clears throat> seize the Day... Uh, yeah, you kind of want to keep Seize the Day in mind if you have the God Herd and if they trash a lot of cards. So you might want to Seize the Day the turn after they trashed a lot of cards if you have the God Herd. 
That's something to keep in mind, I guess. That's uh, that's an interesting word. You can draw here, but draw is very hard to get. Gets a hermit as well. Well, I mean, I it's hard for me to imagine not getting a hermit here. So I'm uh, not seeing any of my opening cards here, which is bad. I get the second hermit. That makes sense to me. Second hermit is fine. So uh, I might get my second hermit here, to be honest. Well, let's do let's do that. Alright, the client freezes apparently. I can also get like experiments. I can also get a flag bearer. How about that? Mm, he's kind of unlike, very unlikely to, you know what? He's very unlikely to get up to four even with his uh, double hermit opening. Well, not very unlikely. He's, he's kind of unlikely for him to get up to four. Uh, I'll try and do that just for fun, because why not? Right. And I can trash it this turn. And also, I think it was not such a bad idea for me, because I need this hand to, to hit four coins. And uh, knowing that this those two are likely to collide. So let's see what he does. Uh, because this, uh, I might have this flag for a couple of turns here, I think. And that's already, I think it's worth it. He takes the flag, all right. That means I'm gonna trash mine and now we are playing this game, apparently. Uh, well, one good, th one bad thing about about buying the wheel is that uh, uh, you don't get the madman. I am going to buy the wheel. Let's kill that. Uh, get the. Uh, Another, well, let's get another breach. How about that? Let's get the experiments. So let's see what he can do. <clears throat> he can trash his flag. No, he gets this date. Why didn't he trash the flag? He can trash the flag, right? Yeah. I think he should trash the flag. It's just... Uh, I don't know why he's not doing it. It's funny... Because... <laughs> Flagbearer is kind of one of the weakest cards from uh, Renaissance, right? And it's uh, it's a very interesting card. It's just you really need you really need a reason to buy a flagbearer because uh, it usually is bad. And I mean, still I I can't tell for sure if me buying the flagbearer when I did was was good. I'm not sure if it was. But I I think I had a reason to do that. Yes, the experiments. And more experiments. Hmm. Alright. 
guess I'm keep uh, I'm gonna keep uh, getting the villas, which is fine. Mm. Experiments here, yeah. Down to lurker. I think so. At least you know one thing it, it will be able to do. It will be able to trash the flag bearers and. I will need that pretty soon, and you know, I can gain. Yeah, okay, I, I want the lurker. Oh, wait a second, what? Wait a second. What? Uh, oh my god, so he didn't trash his flag bearer because I didn't trash my flag bearer. Oh my god, why didn't I trash my flag bearer? I've trashed in the state. Oh my god, that was just... I wanted to play to trash this flag bearer, I just misclicked or something. Wow, that's so bad actually. Why did... Yeah, that's like really bad. Damn it. Oh. What did he do? He just bought a bridge. All right. Do I want the treasure? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Probably don't want the second lurker. Yeah, that. Wow, that was such a misplay by me. I'm I'm gifting him that, you know, a crazy amount of draw now. And I, I didn't need to. And I didn't notice. All right. Yep, that's bad. Well. got hurt all right uh it makes sense probably will get treasure here nope yeah i guess a will i wants to play something else so not a single madman gained by now probably will get a more experiments here i would expect place his flag gets another bridge all right that's not a good draw for me by the way but uh, I might just get those uh, the, another flag bear here. Yeah. All right. I would expect him to be able to trash his flag bear this turn. Although, then again, he's not guaranteed. He might, like, bottom deck it and not, you know, not draw it or anything. So I'm, I'm going to draw quite a lot here. And... Most of my coppers are in a discard. There's only like one one copper left in, in this nine cards. So most of this nine cards are actually good cards. So that's good. Uh, got hurt is not very good for him here. All right, yeah, he was not able to trash his flag bearer, which is good for me. I wonder if he buys one here. Uh, I don't think buying one is very good for him here because I honestly, I I would want to trash one of mine here anyway. So I'm going to do that no matter if he buys it or not. Mm. So let's play the bridge first. 
permit the flag wearer. Now I'm finally getting it right. So what do I want to get? Am I getting the mm, madman here? I think I might just get the villa and buy all the experiments. Uh, so if I hit eight, it's gonna be uh, minus four for experiments and then like another hermit. Hmm. Yeah, I think trashing is better. Oh, right, I, yeah, I, I can play this as well. Oh, I don't want this flag bearer from the trash. Yeah, I'm good here. Uh, so definitely get in all the experiments. Might get the god herd. Let's try and go with that. Mm, and another bridge. Probably don't want more lurkers. It, it's really hard. I think it's really hard uh, to get madmen here because we already. I already have this. Uh, you know, a whole lot of bridges. So you almost every turn you, you're gonna want to buy something. All right, uh, that doesn't look too great for him, but I mean he can still buy a wheel. All right. Yeah. Well, he, mm, he's likely to trash his, uh, what you call it, flag bearer. Yeah. But then again, I'm likely to draw, I'm likely to trash, to either trash one of mine or trash one from the pile. It's not guaranteed, but it's quite likely for me to do. So it should be fine here. I place a second hermit. Uh, I still have one estate, he does not. This treasure is something I'm not quite sure about because. Um, well, oh hey, he sees the day here. Takes the takes two. Um, no, he does not. He bought the villa. He does not take any madman. Oh, I wonder if it was intentional. I'm not sure if it was intentional. To be honest, it would have been really good if he was able to get two madmen. But now, kind of, it's not the. Yeah, it was not intentional. But um, he's, he's drawing further, so apparently he's not going to undo that. Mm. It's really hard for me to see how this game is going to end. I do have a god herd, right? So uh, actually, I would hope that he trashes something here. Which isn't too likely, right? Because yeah, um he he ran out he doesn't want to trash his last flag bearer i think he ran out of estates and he doesn't have treasure his only way the only reasonable way for him to trash something is the, his own god herd right gets a Provence. Okay, I'm not quite sure if it's already time for a prince. 
But hey, apparently here I'm just trashing this uh, flag bearer. I'm not too worried about him ending. Yeah. He does not have the seize the day option anymore. Mm, I don't want to buy anything here, right? Yeah, I don't think so. So let's see what he can do. Yeah, as promise, I'm not sure about it, to be honest. So does he still have... Uh, yeah, he still has uh, the flag bearer, so he can uh, trash this one. But if he does, mm, I'll, mm, I'll trash uh, another one from the pile with a lurker, so it's fine. And I, uh, that's going to be good for me, because he does not have a lurker. Well, unless he buys one this turn. So he's got hurt, trashed, uh, drew him a card, which is good for him. Uh, he, tra he finds the flag bearer. So if I if I get back to my god hurt, that would be uh, really nice. And trash, yeah, and trash is a mad, uh, hermit too. It might be the turn for me to. Well, I didn't draw anything, sadly. But it might be the turn for me to seize the day. Oh. Uh, all right. So I guess I want to seize the day and uh, get a madman. Um. Yeah. So let's uh, trash the flag bearer. I definitely want to play the hermit. And probably trash this estate, right? Mm, yeah, sure. Gain the experiments. And uh, trash this ugly copper. And seize the day. And I'll get the madman rather than anything else, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do here. It might be not the whole lot, but it might be something. So I can draw the deck here. I can draw I can draw the deck and I can overdraw here. Uh do I have more hermit? And I think I do not. <laughs> I think I'm, uh, I am ran out of hermits, uh, which is terrible. Um. Well, I can gain one with the lurker. How about that? Mm, that doesn't sound of uh, like it's too bad of a plan. Let's. Uh, Play the God Hurt first. So yeah, I think he's the guy. He was the guy with two hermits. Yeah, he still has one. I do not. So if I gain this hermit, I mean, I'm I'm not even sure what I'm trying to do here, to be honest. Oh. Uh, what if I just gain like another breach and uh, I think that hermit should be better. Uh, you know what? Uh, probably I'm saving this madman here. I don't need to play it. Uh, yeah. So hermit. Uh, ain't gonna trash. Get the experiments. Mm, don't want to trash the copper. 
probably it's still uh, better than you know all the alternatives. It it might give him a card with God Heart. But getting rid of those covers is just so good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. So one, two, three, bronze. Mm, that's it. What else do I want? What else can I can I possibly buy here? I can go to herd. Well, I think it's beneficial. I mean, if I'm going to, if he's having a turn, he's going to trash something, and uh, well, honestly, it's a bit of a tough sell. Maybe I should have been buying another Vila, but it's kind of a bit dangerous to lower this much. Let's get another Hermit. And, yeah, okay, another God Hurt. Whatever. Let's see how it goes. So, both of us, uh, neither of us can now seize the day. So, yeah, he trashes the Cobra. That's good for me. My God Hurt is already... Uh, gonna be at least cantrips. He plays his madman, so he's gonna have a turn. I wonder if it's enough for him to end the game. I don't think he has. I don't think he has more experiments, though. Yeah, I. I definitely have most of the pile. I think I have all eight experiments in my deck. So, uh, his draw options are definitely limited here because he played his only uh, got hurt already. He returned his madman, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Maybe it's still enough. Uh, it is. It is enough, right? Damn it! It is enough. He can buy all the villas. Yeah. Okay. Damn it! He just wins here. Did I miss a win, I wonder? Maybe I missed a win there. I wonder if I missed the win there. Oh, on the Vilas. Yeah. Hmm. Damn it. Well, then again, well played by him. So, and I think it makes... Uh, the, that's it, right? Uh, yeah, I think uh, so. He won two point five games. Yeah. So hey. Uh, all right, so yeah, <laughs> I guess that my uh, nice journey, uh, you know, in this friendly mixed tournament ends right here. But yeah, had some fun, did not win the whole lot of games, but whatever. Uh, next, uh, next of those uh, mixed tournaments going to be Nocturne Mix, and I'm going to take part in that. So definitely see you there. Uh, so thanks for watching.